Hi everyone and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be chatting about um, a very important question asking like what is a white paper? Now some of you might have heard uh, when it comes to cryptocurrencies that they have these white papers but let's let's do a little research and let's let's actually find out what a white paper actually is. Okay so when you think of white papers I don't know if any of you have heard of a white paper if you look at Wikipedia um, they actually mentioned that a white paper is an authoritative report or guide that informs readers concisely about a complex issue and presents the issuing body's philosophy on that matter. It is meant to help the readers understand an issue, solve a problem or make a decision. So this is a definition of what a white paper in general is. The earliest known use of the term white paper was with the British government and the Churchill White Paper of 1922. So a white paper is nothing new, okay? It's just um, used differently when it comes to crypto. Now, ever since then, white papers have evolved to become a business owner's best friend. And here's the important bit. No other piece of document better explains to investors, and we're just looking at the, at, you know, a normal business um, here. It explains to investors what are the problems that you are looking to solve as a business how will your business solve those problems and how will your business evolve in the future so this is when we're looking at a, a white paper as it relates to a normal business what is the importance of a white paper well, according to some surveys that were done in 2009 by savvy b2b marketing blog they indicated that trial software and white papers are the most utilized along with being the most effective forms of content for researching IT problems and solutions. So all this is just saying to you is that a white paper plays a crucial part in, in people understanding, you know, what a particular business does um, in terms of it solving problems, you know, moving into the future, things like that. If we now go back to 2008, we find that an anonymous programmer named Satoshi Nakamoto released a white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. That white paper not only introduced us to Bitcoin, but it paved the way for other cryptocurrencies. That white paper acquainted us with a blockchain technology. So what's important here is that that single white paper has defined an entire era and has led us to what is now a trillion dollar industry. So you, you can see then that a white paper is extremely important. Now what you need to also understand is that a typical white paper will include the following. It'll include the reasons as to why the project is important, what the relevance of that project is, the problem that uh, in cryptocurrencies uh, the problem that the coin will be solving, how it's going to be solving it, and the full description of that particular coin. Right? Um, further than that, it will also talk about the token economics. So looking at the role of the token in business and generally, um, the more utility a token has, the more valuable it will be. Okay, so if the token or if the coin doesn't have any utility, in other words, you, you can't really use it anywhere. Um, the value of that is not really going to move uh, up over time. Uh, the white paper will also include guidelines on how the token is going to be used. Very importantly, it will also have a roadmap. Okay, so this gives potential investors a good idea as to how the project is going to pan out. It also enables one to, you know, monitor the progress of the project according to the roadmap and the roadmap usually gives us the details for the first 12 to 18 months sometimes a bit longer and then last but not least uh, to introduce you to the founder the team and the developers behind that particular token or cryptocurrencies okay so that is the importance of a white paper that's what a white paper has in it um, so at this point let's go and look at a few examples Right, so when I'm looking at a coin and doing some research into a coin, I usually use a site like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko.com. Um, I'm going to show you the reason why I do this. 
So here you have a number of cryptocurrencies. They list all the various cryptocurrencies out there. But now we want to go and see or find out some, some information about this coin. So if I click on Bitcoin over here, I've, I've already opened these tabs just to make it easier. This is what I find. It will give me all the details around this coin, but what's important is this section over here because CoinGecko.com will give me um, the official site of Bitcoin. It will give me the explorers where I can see more in-depth and, and technical information around it. You know, the different wallets, the community, all these types of things. Um, so if I go to the website and it should be open over here, this is you can see bitcoin.org bitcoin.org and i can scroll down to go and find um, the white paper if i scroll down here to the bottom you can see there's the page for the white paper when i click on it there it opens up the original white paper for bitcoin so you can see um, everything around that there you can see the technical information in terms of how it works um, that it's a proof of work coin the network, you know, all the, the details, um, as we mentioned earlier, in terms of what the coin is, how it works, what problem it's going to solve, look at the technicalities that it goes into, um, and then also, you know, just some references to that. So, this is what a typical white paper looks like, and it will give you a really good idea um, and blueprint behind the coin itself. So if I go to uh, coingecko.com and I look at Bitcoin Vault, the same is going to apply. There's the official site, it's bitcoinvault.global. When I open it, that's the site I'm going to get to, which is the official site of Bitcoin Vault. And you can see when I scroll down, there's the white paper. When I click on it, this is what it's going to give me. So there's the white paper. You can see it also starts with the abstract, looking at why the coin has come about. You can see there's the approach, the technical overview. Um, everything is here. It is good to, to read the white paper. There you can see the entire ecosystem, um, the technicalities, you know, how everything is going to be working. Um, they mention also, you know, how the mining is going to take place the various stages of development, all this type of information. Um, just showing you again there, you can see the sources, the founders, um, all of these, all of this information is there for you. When we look at the upcoming coin of Electric Cash, which comes from the same development team as Bitcoin Vault um, and is part of the ecosystem, there you can see, I obviously I can't go to the, um, the exchange because it's not listed there yet, but there is the website electriccash.global and again I can simply scroll down, click on the white paper and here it gives me the white paper of electric cash. Um, there you can see all the details, you know, how it's going to work, what problem it is solving um, and how it's going to solve that problem. You know, there's all the technical details, again how the mining is going to work the whole ecosystem uh, as a whole. So folks, this is what we mean when we talk about white papers. Um, and it is a good idea for you to read the white paper of a particular coin just to have a good solid overview of the project. Um, and you can see where it's going. Now, I just want to go back to two things quickly um, with Bitcoin Vault. Remember, I mentioned that there is a roadmap. Here you can see Bitcoin Vault's roadmap. Um, you can see everything that has been done and everything that is still going to happen. Right, so you can see this is a project that is going to be around for many, many years. Um, even when we go to Electric Cash and we look at the roadmap, you can see this roadmap already extends beyond 2022. Um, and we are right here at the point where it's going to be listed soon on a crypto exchange all right so uh, thanks so much for joining me hope this gives you good insight into a white paper and its importance